Alright, this is the second dive into the uh, macro mod that I will be covering buttons this time. So nothing too complicated to start off. The um, episodes will get more and more complicated as the um, episodes go on, I suppose. Um, but at the same time you'll be learning more and more, you'll be doing more and more complicated stuff. And already after three episodes you'll be already be doing an auto-hitting mod or something like that. I scrapped an auto-hit script, something something interesting uh, that's pretty easy to do uh, once you actually have the know-how. So um, right now I'm just going to be showing you guys buttons and what they're used for. So a button, what is a button? A button on the keybind mod, if I act in the keybind activate key, is over here. You have these buttons, but you also have the uh, macro bindings for the events, and you also have the GUI editor in which you can place buttons. So a button in the GUI editor uh, allows you to pick a color, pick a background color, choose colors that look okay together, I suppose. Um, there we go, yellow and purple kind of look okay. And I'm going to call it Mr. Yellow, yellow button. Okay, so now I have my button text, and now I I want it to be a little bigger, so what I could do is go in the button and adjust the grid. So the grid can be pretty, can be smaller. I can make the grid smaller. I can make it bigger. I can add some columns or remove some columns and change the column width of a specific column to, for example, 12 or auto by removing anything 80, 800, 80. Um, so you can have the columns as you want. You can have, for example, a larger, a larger center and have the more little buttons on the sides. I'm just going to keep all of it auto for now and just space the buttons like this and resize using the edit button down here. Resize down so my button looks looks like a bit like that. And I'm going to right click on it to edit it. Um, so the foreground color would be the text color and the background color. Let's increase the opacity, OK. And I will automatically hotkey that to M. OK, there we go. So now I have my text over here, but I can also press M and it'll do the, exactly the same thing. So now that I have my little button, I'm going to go ahead to my GUI editor. Edit that. It doesn't look good, so I'm going to bring the opacity for that down, 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 down. OK, there we go. And now that you've got a button, it doesn't do anything because it's just there. And when you click on it, it disappears. So there are two things. When you click on it, it disappears. And either that's a good thing. So when you click on it, a script can start that automates. You want the, you want it to disappear. But sometimes you just don't want the button to disappear if it's just a normal script and you still want to like be able to press other buttons. So in that case, when you right click it, you say don't close on GUI click, which is um, to stop it from closing, but you don't have to that. It's really purely of choice, depends on the functionality of the button. If you have a script where you uh, don't want the GUI to be active when it's running, don't just un uncheck that and it should be fine. Um, all right, I'm gonna uh, click OK. And <clears throat> now I'm gonna bind something to this button. Now to bind, you can bind anything to the button, so I could say yeet like this, save, and when I go into it, it'll say yeet in chat. Uh, this is like the most basic functionality for a button. It can, and it's basically an event uh, that happens, so when you click on the button, it triggers an event that then executes whatever you've put into the chat in here. So. Uh, what do but what are the main primary focus of buttons? Buttons are used to execute commands and scripts and macros. This is the whole point of the mod. Is the macro? It's called the macro mod for a reason. You want to be able to execute macros. We will go ahead and encapsulate our macros with dollar dollar curly brackets and curly bracket dollar dollar. And in here, you, this is where you will be putting your commands. So now there are two commands that I'll be talking about to you about today, and that is the echo command, 
which will echo in chat the yeet like this and then there is Then there is the log command, <clears throat> which will log yeet in chat. So, um, on the first in the first case, the echo will send the message to the server as if you were talking. The log, which is what you see there on the screen, is basically sent to only your clients. So only you can see this chat, and this is used usually for information and it is sensitive to color codes so um, quickly I could go in here and click and 7 yeet save and click the button and you would have yeet uh, in the gray color so yes those are buttons um, you have the so it's exactly the same case with this. It brings you to the same screen with the command help button that tells you basically everything, uh, all the different commands that you can use. Uh, I I could cover all of them. Um, I am tempted to cover a lot all of them, but I will be covering them all gradually as we go ahead in the episodes. I have my own checklist and I will cover quite a few today. We've ju we're just going to be covering the echo and the log. So yes, uh, I hope that lets you understand how to bind different commands to the um, buttons and we will be seeing how to bind scripts later on in the video. In the next videos, not directly next one, but further ahead. So yeah, see you guys in another video.